Hello and welcome to these reflections that we're offering for the season of Lent. Ash Wednesday we begin and we come to the culmination at Easter and then Pentecost from beginning to end. Do you know in the Bible, the tree is mentioned specifically in the very first book of the Bible, Genesis. And the tree is mentioned in the very last chapter, the very last book of the Bible, Revelation. Can you imagine, tree to begin, tree to end. Why is it that the revelation of God begins and ends with a tree so prominent? The tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The tree that bears its fruit 12 times a year, constantly. We're going to talk about this and many of the other gifts that God has given to us in our state. We are the second most forested state in the Union. And if you go online and you ask about forestry, New Hampshire, you'll find out the tremendous acreage and the growth of these trees. And you know that in the fall, people love to see the colors of our trees. But in the wintertime, when you see these great big trucks, the logging trucks, with the trees that have been felled and trimmed and are now being brought to be seasoned and prepared for use in a new life, we can see. The tree plays an enormous part of telling us something about our own life and about God. We do know that there is good and that there is evil. We do know that the 12 apostles have given us teachings that renew and refresh us always. So we're gonna spend some time talking about not only trees and how they can reveal to us what God is teaching and why those trees are so important in the Bible, We'll also look at our lakes, the beautiful lakes that can remind us of the baptismal font of new life and water that refreshes with the life of grace. And we can also look then at the mountains, the mountains, the presidential range that we have up here we're so proud of and so wonderful to hike. But we'll also look at the mountains in scripture, Mount Nebo, Mount Horeb, Mount Sinai. All of these wonderful places that God gave us in the Bible. Why is he revealing through those things, all through the Bible and all through salvation history? And why are we so fortunate to have these reminders to go back to the Bible and back to our churches? We're right here in our cathedral chapel and we have our baptismal font and we have our candles and we have the steps that rise up to the altar like going up the mountain. So there's an awful lot to talk about, an awful lot to see. And during this Lenten season, I pray that when we hear the words, remember you are dust and to dust you shall return, we'll remember too that not only the beginning as dust, but the ending as reconstituted and in a glorified body in the resurrection. This is our promise. This is our faith. God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.